Hello, hello, good morning. Blue Hill Tarot here. Thank you for stopping. This is going to be a water sign video. We're going to do Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And we're going to ask the question, will you hear from them? Um, this video will be posted on my YouTube channel. Um, I would like to ask any of you water signs out there that connect with my videos to please go over and check me out on Patreon. I am trying to uh, build that channel, not only to earn more money for the animals I support, but also to connect in a, uh, you know, a different format other than YouTube, which I'm grateful for YouTube, never doubt that. But um, I have heard people say that the videos are clearer over on uh, Patreon, and I do post free videos over there too. So you can check that out if you choose. So we will put timestamps in. The Six of Cups is uh, the uh, reminiscing card that just popped out. And we will start the first Cancer Sun sign. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. For the weekend, will you hear from them? Will you hear from them? Uh, the Eight of Cups. So... We're starting out for some of you cancers, if you have a relationship that you've walked away from or someone has walked away from you, uh, they, it doesn't mean they don't love you or care about you deeply. It just means that they, they can't handle whatever's going on right now and something else has to take the place of that. They need to put it on the back burner. This could be you too, cancer. The energy of an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. The energy of the eight, excuse me, the three of cups. You have other friends around for the weekend. Um, you're not miserable. Uh, this person or this circumstance is somebody that disappointed you, betrayed you, or you betrayed them. There's an energy here of uh, somebody leaving because, uh, because it, they were hurt. Um, it certainly could be you who left because you were hurt, but it could also be someone else that you had a relationship with that's either earth, air, water, or fire, and they left uh, or put this relationship aside because of a betrayal, something that happened that hurt one or other or both of you. The energy of you showing up as a water sign and Cancer, this can be you with another water sign. So we have six energies here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, okay? The karma around this is the death card. So I'm gonna say uh, for you that are waiting, will you hear from them? If it's an earth or a water sign like yourself, I'm gonna tell you no, you're not gonna hear from them. The energy of emotional, hurt, the ebb and flow of baggage, uh, the seven of cups, emotions, flip-flopping, and the unknown variable is the, you know, you don't know, uh, you know, you were happy with this person. They made you very happy. Listen to your intuition, okay? So I'm going to say for the energy of the sun sign cancer, uh, will you hear from them if they are the energy of an earth sign or a water sign? My answer to you is no. Um, now the energy of air or fire didn't show up, so I don't have any answers for you guys. All right, so let's move on to the next sun sign, and we will do uh, the sun sign Scorpio. Will you hear from them, Scorpio? Will you hear from them, Scorpio? Will you hear from them? This is Friday morning before sunrise, October 4th. 2024. This is Blue Hill Tarot. I ask for you to subscribe, like, comment, and welcome to Scorpio. Welcome to Scorpio. Scorpio. Will you hear from them, Scorpio? Will you hear from them? The energy of, oh, goodness, my. Okay. <laughs> Scorpio, first card out is consequences. So if, if uh, you know, if you're wanting to hear from somebody who you've been through the ringer with, or you put them through the ringer, they put you through the ringer, you've both been through the ringer together, 
they're here already. Uh, the Four of Wands, you're happy now where you are, but you're still thinking about this person. Uh, you know, work and uh, energy around uh, your professional life is good, although it does sometimes get a little bit hairy and you feel a little cornered and trapped by it. The Knight of Swords <clears throat> says there is information that you may hear about uh, this person that you have this relationship with consequences uh, this weekend. The energy of the Four of Cups is the universe asking you to be grateful for this experience. Apparently it was faded. Uh, the energy of fire is the center card for karma and fate. For some of you Scorpios, there is an energy of fire. Um, that's what's fire. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the energy of the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you Scorp Scorpios are focusing on making more money and you can make even more than you're making now. Unknown variable is an air sign. And so if you are a Scorpio and you're interested in a fire sign or an air sign and you wanna hear from them and you guys have a history with consequences where you both uh, hurt each other or one hurt the other, look at the final energy. This is a passionate connection. The tower is here. Uh, this card is a card that indicates uh, you will probably keep hearing from them and you are definitely reminiscing about them and they reminisce about you. So if I was going to say to Scorpio, are you going to hear from a fire sign or an air sign this weekend or at any time in the near future? My answer would be yes. And so Scorpios, um, if you would like to hear from a past relationship or somebody that you have put to the side that is a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, I'm going to say there's a good possibility that that will happen. Yes. And the final sun sign is going to be the sun sign of Pisces. Will you hear from them, Pisces? 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 Will you hear from them? All right, let's throw your cards. Pisces, Pisces. Pisces, Princess of Cups. Wow, you'll hear from somebody. This is the energy of a relationship offer. Either you're making offers in the not too distant future, maybe this weekend, or you're gonna get some. The energy of love. There's love around you, Pisces. Uh, reciprocal love. Now, if you're not in a relationship, this card says, you know, there's love around you. It could be new love coming your way, but it could also be your family, your friends, people who value you. There's a thread of energy going back and forth for you. Don't forget about it. The energy of fire. So Pisces, if you have an interest in a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and you want to hear from them, there's a good possibility within this weekend or not too far away, you will. The energy of the Empress. This is a Libra. Yes, you will hear from a Libra Pisces. The energy of stress. Maybe uh, there's stress around your life for whatever reason. We all have it. The energy of karma and fate. Wow. So you need to narrow your focus, uh, Pisces, around uh, if you do hear from them, what do you want to do? Uh, you know, you have a little more control than maybe you believe. So if you're waiting to hear from a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Libra, narrow your focus around what you want them to offer you or what you're offering them. The energy of the magician. This is an Aries energy. The energy of the Eight of Swords. This is a trivial stress. And the unknown variable is an air sign. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. So it could be if you are in a relationship you want to hear from Pisces with an air sign, there's an unknown energy around them. You don't really know how to process them, how to cope with them, what they're going to do from one you know, circumstance to the other. That doesn't mean that you can't be hopeful and connected to them. Final energy is temperance. This is a Taurus and a Sagittarius. So Pisces, you have a lot of uh, people that are showing up around you. On the bottom of the deck is a Scorpio and also the message of judgment. 
use good judgment for this weekend and going into the first weeks of October, Pisces. Thank you so much for stopping at Blue Hill Tarot. Please like and subscribe. Take care.